Stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. I, I can't tell you anything. You can't or you won't. Snow. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once and... I'm not yours to lose. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. She looks like Holly. It's not Holly, it's her sister Lily. She was looking to pay down debt. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. The open arms. Oh my god. What is it? <gasps> it's Crane. Person. Bigby, you have to tell her. I know! What's going on? What did you find up there? You know, other than the... Crane's the killer. What? Ichabod Crane? How do you know? Shit! Crane's been... Ugh. Oh, Bigby, calm down. Everything's going to be fine, okay? It's going to be fine. Will someone please explain this to me? Crane has been stalking Snow White. The room is covered in evidence. That perverted little fucker might be after Snow. I need to find her right now. Okay, it's it's going to be okay. But where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. Trip trap? Are you drinking? When? Right now. They were on their way out. Bigby! Wait. What? Snow's... Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just... Please be careful. When you tell her. And you should tell her. But... What are you trying to say? You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. special circle. People she trusted and cared for. I won't, um, offend you by claiming one day that, that the pain of losing Lily will ever subside. I know as well as you that it will never subside. But I also know that, that the memory of Lily will sustain as well. And it will in time, equal in strength to our mourning her loss. I'll miss worrying and it is in about that you. That I'd like I'll to miss talk our about fights. What you've I'll all miss been so you, grateful to share with me. Holly. Your memories of her. How she could be stubborn and patient. Now you will never die from indifference. How she carried a torch a for the old ways, life. For tradition. My sweetheart. 
them. Thanks for Patrick's everything. Right. Vivian. And most of all, it seems how Lily loved, dearly loved her friends and family. You were a big, she bright, shining star her. in this shithole of a town. I never met I Lily. I miss you already. From Grand. I have been told. I know in my heart that she would have liked to be here tonight. And now we'll have our uh, moment of silence. Thank you. Bigby, is everything okay? No, not you. Holly, it's... He wasn't fucking invited. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. Holly, I'm sorry, but I had to come. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here? After you lie? After you promise me? Holly, wait. That was Crane. Just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Bigby could do anything about it. I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Bigby gives a shit about this. Holly, it's gonna be okay. I'm sorry, Holly. I, I didn't know he put her down the witching well. Bigby cares, Holly. He's trying to help. And I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. But this one isn't on him. Why are you here, anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? I think I know who murdered your sister. Who? Maybe we should talk about this somewhere else? What? No, I deserve to know. I know, I... I know, but... This isn't the way to go about this. I don't give a fuck about the way. I don't care about procedure. If anyone should be told, it's me. It's us. Right now. So talk. Yeah. Who was it? I think it was Ichabod Crane. What? Crane? Crane. Okay, everyone, just stop. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat while everyone else gets back to the funeral. What? He says that fucking Crane murdered Lily and you expect me to- Please, I promise I will tell you what the hell is going on just as soon as I know there's something to tell, but just let us do our jobs first. Look, Holly, I know how this must- No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. Of course. You won't even know I'm here. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk. Yeah. I can't believe this. This is someone I've worked with for decades. This is a guy... He gets freaking shakes when he has to order food. I mean, what are you telling me? It, it's all an act? Just, what have you found? Bigby? Snow, Crane is completely obsessed with you. Oh my god, if this is about how Crane treats me at work... Just I listen to me for a second, alright? I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily, and making her look like you while he was... you know. He replays your story over and over again. This is... I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. To not picture him. I'm sorry, Snow. And I'm sorry I had to be the one to tell you. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? Because please, Bigby, don't confuse things. Deposing Crane would be the next step. I 
thought you trusted me more than that. I do, but you've got a hot head and a big heart, and sometimes that's not the best combination. Look, let's go back to the business office. I doubt Crane's there at this hour, but we need to talk. And this isn't the place. Snow? Nerissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be, um... No, I understand. It's just that something's come up. No, I get it. Take your time. It won't take long. How'd it go? At the motel? Did you find anything? No? Yeah. Lily was killed there. It was an awful mess. Oh. I'm sorry. Nerissa! Yeah, um... Uh, coming! Constable? Wait, wait, wait. Easy now, girl. You know how this goes. The first thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? How do you do? That way, it's proper. What are you doing here? That is the question, isn't it? Or at least a question. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fit to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. Just take a little vacation is all. Don't even have to go anywhere. Just sit in your office and whistle to heaven for a few short days. You have three seconds to fuck off before this goes to a place you don't want it to. Oh, I don't have my stopwatch on me. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone, and we leave you to yours? Brother? Speak your mind, fastly now. What's it gonna be? You think this act you got going scares me? Cause it doesn't. Always wanting to do things the fun way. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please, rest easy. This is not- What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that, it ain't any of your- What deal? Settle down, settle down now. Yeah, everyone just stay where you are, nice and natural. They want me to leave Crane alone. Crane? Oh, now you shouldn't have done that, old boy. Really? That wasn't right, telling everyone our dealings. What did I tell you? What did I say? Ali? You think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you can just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It was just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Holly, don't move! Yeah, listen to your lady, love. Things uh, don't have to turn sloppy now. Calm down, Holly. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead hole. I'm gonna kill you! Holly! Holly! Ah. I got it, dumb!
I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually worm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're gonna be sore. Bigby, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fabletown physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <clears throat> Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. And try and get some rest. I can't take it easy. I have to... I have to find Crane. Bigby? What's wrong? Lack of sleep for one thing. Getting shot for another. They'll be fine. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived, so I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Everything in moderation. And uh, eat more chicken. Your blood pressure's through the proverbial roof. I'll try to. All right then, very good. Business office. I know, I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White, Big B. So, to recap, Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover it? And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan, currently. But I, I don't know. That's the plan? Just wait for the mirror? It's all we have right now. What the hell is going on? Just... I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if... I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but... Do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get it. But do you really think he killed those women? Because it's just... It's incomprehensible to me. From what I saw at the open arms, everything points to Crane murdering Lily. What isn't adding up for me is Faith. Why would he kill her? It doesn't seem connected. Yeah, it, it doesn't make sense. He's... He was a conniver. A, a coward. A liar. And I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he... held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes? Ow! Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. I'm glad you were there. Anytime. Can I, um, ask you a question? It's kind of personal. And... I don't want to offend you, but after tonight, it's on my mind. Sure. It's just, when stuff hits the fan, like, like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city, it feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. Because it gives you an excuse to just, you know, stop pretending. Why even bring this up? I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, hey guys? We have a problem. What is it? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. What do you mean, missing a piece? Yes, it's, uh... It's not here. Crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I can't believe this. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. Well, the mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? 
We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. We can't depend on the mirror. What exactly is the hard way? We'll look through his things, his desk, everything. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. We can still solve this ourselves. I know never that Never mind that. Come help me look. Hi, Mr. Bigby. I can still help you catch Crane, you know. Oh, yeah? Yes. I saw him jump on the telephone before he left. He called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. His witch? Yes, it sounded like the one he got his snow glamours from. Hmm. You didn't see anything else, did you? No, not, uh, not especially. Look, uh, the whole mirror thing, it's not your fault, all right? Y you mean it? Yeah. Why didn't you try and stop him? What do you want me to do, yank on his hair? I'm only three feet tall. There are limits here. Okay, okay. I'll just see if I can do anything about this. You do that. There's a page here that was torn out. Oh, yeah? Buffkin, do you know what was here? It's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Wait, what witch? Buffkin overheard Crane set up a meeting with a witch. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you glamours from. It must be about this ring. Why not mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! And I'm hungover. I'm sorry. He set the meeting at 2 a.m. Tonight. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me I called to... just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert, or not? I tried this to, but... This isn't your concern. Bluebeard, get the hell out of here. This is none of your business. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. A.M. or P.M.? A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. Define help. Why do you even care about this? Why? I'm invested in this enterprise we call Fable Town. <laughs> Literally invested. Since it's mostly my money that keeps the whole thing running. Tonight I hear that Crane has been killing fables, and there's no system in place to catch him? Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put...
put you in charge in the first place. Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years now. Unofficially is not officially. I'm heading up the investigation, okay, Bluebeard? That makes this a moot point. And somebody needs to run the business office while he does so. Well then. Excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. <sighs> Alright, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours, the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. 2 a.m. Piece of cake. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else? The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. That has to be our focus. Even if they're not there, the Tweedle's office might have something on Crane. Or the witch. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock! I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. Bluebeard, just stay out of it, all right? You'll just mess things up further. They can't get any more messed up. We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Where are you gonna go, Bigby? So you leave Crane alone, and we leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. So you leave Crane alone? D and Dumb must know where he is. I should go to their office first. Perfect. And I'll go to Crane's apartment. I'll look up their address. I hope you know what you're doing. Excuse me. Oh, hi. Sheriff Bigby. Great, great to see you. I don't know if you remember me. I've, uh, seen you around, but you may have forgotten- I know who you are, Flycatcher. You, you've worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? <laughs> I think I've lost count. But you know, Crane, uh, let me go recently. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I mean, it's no big deal. So, what brings you here? I mean, can I help you with anything? Are you here to see one of the brothers? D or Dumb? They, they aren't, they're in here right now. I'm not sure when they'll be back. Did you make an appointment? I was hoping to have a talk with D or Dumb. Do you know where they are? No, they don't really keep regular hours as far as I can tell. Sorry. It's been a, a quiet night so far. I think the twins are out, probably working on a case. Sometimes I don't see them for days. They gave me the job after Crane told me to get lost. 
You said I was just in the way. But I like it here. Gotta stay busy, you know? Otherwise... Where's their office? Oh, right this way. I, I was going there next anyway. I can let you in if you want. You can wait for them there. Sure. Thanks. No problem. I'm gonna have to take a look around. Uh... Well, I, I guess that would be okay. I wasn't really asking for permission. Right. You're the sheriff. I just don't want to get in trouble or anything. I'm sure it's fine. I mean, they never told me not to let you in. It's official Fable Town business. Don't worry. Right. Dear Brother Dumb, I hate dogs and you know it. Sincerely, Brother D. What's that about? They do have their quirks. <sighs> Dear Brother D, I think we should get ourselves a dog. Sincerely, Brother Dumb. Couple of freaks. <sighs> this is pointless. I, I know these guys can come off abrasive at times, but they aren't so bad once you get to know them. And they really care about helping people. They're kind of loud at times, but you get used to it. I guess they have to be, in their line of work. Dee always tells me, you have to be assertive. How do you mean they help people? They're detectives. Anyone can come in here with a problem and they'll do their best to fix it. The way Dee explains it, it's like if someone lost their cat, well, they could hire them to, you know, track it down. Or like sometimes, they get packages for people. They can be like couriers, you know? For who? All kinds. Come to think of it, I don't really know where they keep them. Anyways, I'm just saying, you just don't owe them like I do. Sure, Flycatcher. You know about this? Uh, no. I'm sure you have your reasons, but it's just they, they've done so much for me. Let's see if they've got a file on a crane. Beauty's in debt to the crooked man? Shit. Detective Brannigan. Keep an eye on her. hired them to look for a photo? So that's why they were at her apartment. And the woodsman's place. See, I knew you wouldn't find anything. Anything of interest, anyways. They're, they're detectives, like I said. Just, just trying to make an honest living. Just stay out of this. I have work to do. I'm just saying. Look, just trust me on this. Tweedledee and Dumb are not nice. They're not helping anyone. Well, they helped me. Okay, great. They helped you. That's one person. Now, please, just let me concentrate here. Ichabod Crane. He owes the crooked man money. Shit. How was he planning to pay this all back? Request for property acquisition. Further details filed under donkey skin. Why did he want it back so badly? find anything? Not what I need. What, what, if, what if you're wrong about them? I'm not. They're misunderstood, sure, but that doesn't mean everything people say about them is true. I mean, you know, like when I think about it, you guys aren't that different. 
You help people, and they help people. Not that it's any of my business, but I just wanted to say, you know, give them a chance. People can surprise you. Let's get one thing straight. They are nothing like me. Big B? Shit. There's something here. I know there is. There has to be. Why would there be anything Because to... they're lying to you, okay, Flycatcher? That's why. They aren't detectives. They're hired guns, hitmen. Bigby, what happened to your... You want to know what this is? This is them showing up to Lily's funeral with fucking shotguns. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, 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 I didn't know. Holly and Gren both got injured. Snow White nearly got her head blown off. Do you get it now? I didn't mean to... There's a door behind this file cabinet. Now, I don't know what they keep back here, but it might be what you're looking for. Well, that key you found should work. Wow. J.D. A book. What are you looking for exactly? Maybe I can help. Anything about Crane. Or the witch he was using. Something. This doesn't really tell us much. Butcher? What is this stuff? I'm sorry, I know I'm late. I'll get it to you soon. Ichabod Crane. Who was he sending money to? Crooked man. Care of the Lucky Pawn. You know what that is? Is that what you needed? I don't think so, but it's interesting. There's more going on here. I still need to find that witch, though. Hey, Bigby. Do you think, after all this, do you think I could come back to the Woodlands? Since Crane let me go, I mean, I can still work here, but I don't think I want to now. I don't want to work with bad people, you know? You and Snow, you're nice. You should talk to Snow. Maybe there's something she can do for you. Really? That would be... thank you. It's Snow's hair. Snow White? Why... We found her hair like this inside Lily's glamour. Auntie Greenleaf. This must be the witch Crane was using. I guess D and Dumb were getting the hair for Crane and sending it to her? That's not a pleasant thought. There's no address on it. So, so what now? Snow would probably want to know about this, don't you think? I'll check in with the business office. Maybe there's a record of Auntie Greenleaf. I think I saw a phone near the back. Thanks. You're welcome, Sheriff. Business office, this is Snow White. Hey, Snow. Oh, it's you. 
Sorry, I've been answering angry phone calls for hours. People want to know where Crane is. How'd it go with the Tweedle brothers? No address yet, but I got a name for Crane's witch, Auntie Greenleaf. You heard of her? No. I'll get Buffkin started looking for a record, but it might take some time. Huh. Somebody's got to know where to find her. And Snow, I found a note with some money attached. Crane has been embezzling from Fabled Town. Of course, because why half-ass being a complete sleazeball? Do you think this is tied to the murders? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter, but we still have to find him. I don't know. Maybe. You might want to try Holly's place, see if she hasn't burned Lily's things yet. Or Crane's, you might find something there. Although, Bluebeard's been there. I'll leave it up to you, but we don't have much time. Crane is meeting her at 2 a.m. I'll go to Crane's apartment, see if there's an address or something there. Okay. I'll give Buffkin the name and hope he finds something in the records. Let me know what he comes up with. I'll be in touch. I hope you'll do the same. We'll catch him, Snow. Bigby, I have to go. Someone just came in. Good luck. Bluebeard burned everything. I tried to stop him, but I got here too late. He wouldn't listen to me. Threatened to strangle me if I got too close. There was nothing I could do. Honest! It's not your fault, Buffkin. I should have come here first. Didn't think Bluebeard would mess things up this badly. Did the Tweedle brothers have any information about the witch? Just her name. Auntie Greenleaf. You heard of her? No. That's strange. I can check the books for you. How long is that gonna take? If I haven't come across her name before, she's not going to be very easy to track down. I'll head over to the Trip Trap. Maybe I can get some information from Holly. Uh, but... What? After what happened at the funeral? She may not be too happy about seeing you. Are you sure this is a good idea? I'll be sure to be extra sweet. Okay. Sure. I'd better go fill Miss White in on the circumstances. She's going to be very disappointed. Good luck. <laughs> She's asleep, you fucking idiot. She didn't even give me a chance to explain. What's left to explain? Just, you know, what happened? We know what happened. Or how it happened. Why would she want to hear that? Well, can I... Can you what? Can I just, I don't know, just wait here for a bit? Until she wakes up. Then? <laughs> <laughs> what do I... Read the sign! Guys, it's me, Bigby. Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Okay, okay, before you get all huffy, it, it was Snow who let me go, all right? It just, there was no sense in me staying in jail. She, she said so herself. Don't soil yourself, Woody. I'm sure he understands. 
And if he doesn't, he can take it up with the missus later. Luckily for you, I don't have the time to get pissed off about this right now. Well, come on in, buddy. Grant, what? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Right? I mean, you must not be feeling too good after that shit show. Yeah, sure. Thanks. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Friend, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it. You think with... I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? Grant, really, you, you shouldn't drink right now. I can't hear you when you mumble. Have you seen Lily's things? What wasn't burned at the funeral? Um, is that stuff supposed to be here, or...? Nope, haven't seen it. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? The doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia. For the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep, like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. And he said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. Yes, he did. He certainly did. But let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. And I feel like having a drink, okay? There's no way to wake her up. Oh, uh, no. And anyways, the doctor gave me strict orders to let the fine woman sleep. She's had a very traumatic experience. That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. I'm talking to Bigby now, okay? Can't say you being there helped things much. Gren, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? I'm not. You think I shot up the place? It wasn't my fault. They got away though, didn't they? Whatever. It's all right. I'm too out of it to get into it. I want to clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. And we're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, right? yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Grand Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. I don't want to get loaded with him. It's just a quick slug. Not gonna hurt anybody. And then we'll, you know, help you out with your thing. To the dead. All right, now help me. Gren, the doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back! I said I was sorry, all right? I can't do anything about it, it's done! <laughs> 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 What more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? I don't want anything from you, Woody. I want there to be a big black hole where your fat, dumb fucking ass used to be. What is the problem here? What stupid shit will you both not let go of? Oh wait, I forgot. It's great you're here, since you were the one who told us about it in the first place. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. And none of it would have come out if Bigby hadn't have said nothing. Give me a break, like it's his fucking fault. She liked me, okay? There wasn't anything wrong with it. 
Oh, she liked him. All right, well, that changes everything. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh, yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a low life. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay, because I'll tell you what he thinks. He thinks you have to pay chicks to touch your fat, hairy ass. That's what he thinks. I think whatever happened was between them, and Lily is dead. So let's put this whole thing to rest, Gray. Gren. I don't know where Lily's shit is. <sighs> Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the rule. Maybe, uh, ogres, too. I thought you said you would help me look. Actually, Big B, if you'll excuse me, it seems that I'm gonna pass out. What a day. Am I right, Sheriff? What a fucking day.